Hi. Welcome. Today I will be telling you about most emerging crime in the modern world that is cybercrime. It refers to illegal activities that are committed using the internet, computer networks, or other forms of digital technology. The rise of the internet and digital technology has led to a significant increase in cybercrime, with criminals using the anonymity and reach of the web to carry out their activities. Cybercrime can take many forms, including hacking, identity theft, online fraud, and cyberstalking. Hacking involves unauthorized access to computer systems and networks, either for malicious purposes or for personal gain. Identity theft involves the use of someone else's personal information, such as their name, date of birth, or social security number, to commit fraud or steal money. Cyberstalking involves the use of the internet to harass, intimidate, or threaten someone, often with the intention of causing fear or distress. Online fraud can take many forms, including phishing scams, where criminals trick people into giving away their personal and financial information, and investment scams, where people are lured into investing in fake or non-existent products or services. The effects of cybercrime can be devastating, both for individuals and for society as a whole. Victims of cybercrime may suffer financial losses, damage to their credit rating, and emotional distress. Businesses may also suffer significant financial losses as a result of cybercrime, as well as damage to their reputation and loss of customer trust. To prevent cybercrime, individuals and organizations need to take a proactive approach to protecting their digital assets and personal information. This involves implementing a range of security measures and best practices, such as using strong passwords, keeping software and systems up to date, and avoiding clicking on links from unknown or suspicious sources. Organizations should also implement robust security measures to protect their networks and systems from cyber attacks, such as firewalls, intrusion detection systems, and antivirus software. They should also conduct regular security audits and threat assessments to identify potential vulnerabilities and take steps to address them. In addition, organizations should educate their employees about the dangers of cybercrime and the importance of security best practices. This may involve providing training and resources, such as regular security awareness newsletters, phishing simulations, and security best practice guides. Governments also have a role to play in preventing cybercrime, by enacting and enforcing laws and regulations that hold cybercriminals accountable for their actions. This may include increasing funding for law enforcement agencies to investigate and prosecute cybercrime, and implementing international agreements and treaties to facilitate cooperation between countries in the fight against cybercrime. Finally, technology companies and service providers should also take steps to prevent cybercrime by designing and implementing secure systems and services, and by working with law enforcement agencies to identify and apprehend cybercriminals. In conclusion, cybercrime is a serious and growing threat that affects individuals, organizations, and society as a whole. To prevent cybercrime, individuals and organizations need to take a proactive approach to protecting their digital assets and personal information, and governments, technology companies, and service providers need to work together to create a more secure and trustworthy digital environment. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it has been informative for you. Please subscribe, like and share this channel. Bye.